Arcane League of Legends has been one of my personal favorite animations of 2021. In this video, let's take a look of one of the most impressive sequences from Arcane, the prestigious concert scene, to see how mise-en-scene and audiovisual language helps to make foreshadowing on characters' behaviors. At the concert, Mel convinced Jace to use his position as the new counselor and the Hextech inventor to ingratiate himself with the old counselors. There are those who covet your power over the wealth the Hexgates afford and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy, Jace. What's going on under the surface? The performer begins to play. Pay attention to the setting of the stage. The content of the backdrop is not emphasized. The character that the performer represents, which is Jace, he has no awareness of what is happening to him. That's why the stage backdrop is obscured by props like tree branches and flame lamps. This represents the situation that Jace is in right now. The camera pivots 180 degrees around the performer to reveal the auditorium. What you can see is pitch black. The curtain is half opened but the performer could not see any audience from this position, and the camera presented a black blur in the shape of eyes, emphasizing the atmosphere of performer being pipped and monitored like Jace's situation when he becomes the new counselor and is coveted by a lot of shady people for his new policies. Mel tips Jace off about every counselor who have been offended by Jay's new policies. Jace looks down thoughtfully at the performer on the stage. The song begins to hit up as the scenery on the stage begins to change as well. The trees covering the backdrop are moved away, which signs that Jay's dilemma has been clarified and revealed by Mel's explanation. After the pendulum staggered, the tone moves to a new measure and the new stage settings are reintroduced. The backdrop is fully displaced now. The light fell on the performer from the left of the stage, while behind him, the dragon from the bow of the harbor looked down. Their fang mouth opened and glared greatly at the performer. The light indicates that Jace has a bright future as a new counselor, while the old counselor is eyeing vested Jace's interests like a dragon on the boats. A close-up of the stage, snow falling slowly from the sky. Then we can see Heimerdinger drinking in the melodious town of the violin. Heimerdinger is also a member of council, but he is the only one who is sitting in the ordinary auditorium, rather than the upper box. This scene first indicates that the other councillor except Heimerdinger come to the concert for another purpose, and secondly foreshadows Heimerdinger's intersection in the story and the city of Thorn. One of the councillors shows up, and Jace is facing a choice. The song begins to change and the clouds appear. The dragon boat is slowly shadowed, implies that Jace has begun to waver in the face of interests. It begins to rain. The performer is in the middle of the frame with white clouds and lightning overhead and black waves at his feet. The picture is filled with rain. The performer is Jace, who is now caught between black and white, the rain and thunder representing his inner struggle. You know, Counselor Madara's right. The Hex Gates are only the beginning. In fact, we're currently looking for new partners in our Hextech research. And as a supporter of House Talus, you'd be the first in line to any of our advancements. Jace makes a decision and goes along with Mel's proposal. The song begins to heat up into a climax. Hextech partner? After the first counselor left, Mel says, your audience awaits, counselor. And brings to the light the ground floor and the stage. The performer can now be seen on stage standing in one of the dragon boats. It also shows that Jace is in the same boat as the other counselor right now. The tropey waves at the bottom of his feet represent the surging tides of interest that Jace has been caught up in. At this point, the sun has reached its climax. The tempo quickens and the resonance intensifies. He's been quite the investment. Indeed. Better than expected. Jace begins to enter the VIP boxes of counselors and come mutually beneficial agreements with each of them. The camera shows the first point of view of the faces of every counselor that Jace has reached an agreement with, intermingled with the image of Hammerdinger still thoroughly intoxicated by the performance. 
This suggests that Hammerdinger, as a pure scholar, one of the founders of this city and the oldest member of the council, is completely excluded from the interest exchange between the other members of the council. This also foreshadows the fact that Hammerdinger will be voted out of council by the other councillors later in the story, because he has no mutually beneficial relationship with anyone else, and he is excluded from the fellowship under the guise of this concert. After the performance, we can see from this frame that the sky clears after the rain. The dark clouds disperse and the sea restores calm. The performer stands on the dragon boat and make a ball. It means that Jace has reached agreements with all the counselor except Heimerdinger. With excellent setting of mise-en-scene and use of visual audio language, this sequence becomes one of the most informative scenes in Arcane arguably foreshadows the development chain of relationships of all the characters appeared in the scene.